Hey there, how's it going everybody? Today I'll be sharing with you how I go about purifying the rainwater that I catch off my roof, making it drinkable. So this here is my current rainwater collection system that I put together on the cheap. And although the water coming out of this system looks clean and clear, this would never be suitable to drink as is. As rain, which starts out as distilled water, begins to fall through the atmosphere, it absorbs toxins and impurities located within the air. Then it hits the rooftop where it picks up even more impurities, and then again in the gutter, and then the hose, and into the plastic bins where it sits for a while. That's where this little machine comes in. This is the Mega Home Countertop Water Distiller. Now distilled water is pure H2O, and the process for distilling water in this machine is very easy. The process begins once you fill the stainless steel vessel with the water that you want to purify. The water is heated up and begins to boil, at which point the condensation is captured where it travels up through this hole here and then through the coil located in the top of the lid here. As it cools down, it begins to drip out the nozzle. Now this nozzle which removes has a glass insert inside and also a charcoal filter helping to improve the taste of the water. So all I do is fill the machine just as I would if I was taking the water out of the tap. There's a fill line located on the inside of the machine. Now because I use the glass pitcher that comes with this machine to collect that rainwater, I'm going to first thoroughly clean it rendering it safe to use once again. So now that the pitcher's clean, I'm just going to place it under the drip nozzle and press the start button. It's really that easy. You can see here there's a fan located on the top of the lid here which is blowing off the hot air that's gathering from the coil. After about 20 minutes or so you'll start to see the water begin to drip into the pitcher. So the total time to distill one gallon using this machine is approximately five and a half hours. Alright, so the machine is automatically turned off now, that means that we're done. I'm just going to allow this now about 20 minutes to cool down before I open up the lid and show you what's inside. Alright, let's see what we got here. As you can see, that white grayish film on the sides and then also that crud on the bottom, that's all the impurities that were in that water. Those are all left behind in this vessel here. The result is nothing less than pure H2O. There's absolutely no smell coming from here. Cheers everybody. and it tastes just like the tap water I run through this machine. It's crisp, refreshing, my favorite type of water to consume. Now I don't solely use just rainwater for distilling, there's really no purpose for that, I just get it out of the tap. But if we had an emergency or if I'm in an off-grid situation, this would really come in handy. Now this machine runs on about 550 watts, so with the proper size generator or solar panel set up, along with some nice rainwater collection tanks, and this system is self-sufficient. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.